peeps. Today, we're gonna be, I know it's Emma, and I know, like, you know how I used to have this gaming channel? Um, I might not be doing gaming anymore. I'm gonna be doing, like, a Bible, because reading the Bible and doing other stuff about God, because first of all, you need to believe in him. He's actually real. Like, let's just say I'm a kid missionary. I'm not really, like, old enough to be, like, a regular missionary. But when I get older, I want to be, like, a teacher. Like, teaching class and stuff. But now I'm going to be a missionary kids. Okay. So, and I have a light writing right over there, and it's really helpful. So... Let's get started. We're going to read like three or two pages a day. So, and the verse for today is going to be Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. And I'll always get you guys a verse each week. So, because I don't know if I will have a new verse every single day. Let's just see how this goes. Okay, so we're going to start in the Old Testament. Um, Genesis. So, I can't, like, I can read really well. Like, I'm, I don't have problems with my eyes. Let me just bring you guys closer, so. Okay. The creation of the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and voided, and darkness was over the face of deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Excuse me. And God saw that the light was good, and good. God separated the light from darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be expanse in the midst of water, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse and it was so and god called the expanse heaven and there was an evening and there was a morning in the second day and god said let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear and it was so god called the dry land earth and the water that were gathered to together he called seas and God said that it was good. And God said, let the earth sprout vegetation. I can't really say words because I have speech, uh, speech issues. So. Plants, yielding seeds and fruit trees, bearing fruit in which is their seeds, each according to its kind on earth. And it was so. The earth brought form forth vegetation plants, be yielding seeds according to their own kind, and trees bearing fruit, in which is their seed in each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning, and the third day. God said, Let there be light in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day for seasons and for days and years, and let them be light in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the expanse for the heavens to give light on earth, to rule over and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning and the fourth day. God said, like the waters swam like swarms of living creatures, and like birds fly across upon above the of living of the earth across the expanse of heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, when which the water swam according to their kinds and very winged bird according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was an evening that there was a morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring four living creatures according to their kind, 
lifts stock, livestock, creeping things, and beasts of the earth, according to their kinds, and it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeped on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make a man in our imagine, after our likeness, and let them have a domation over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over very, every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in its own imagine. In the imagine of God, excuse me, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have the motion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seeds in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath for of life, I have given every green plant for food, and I think I'm going to stop on first page because I'm going to do my, usually my night routine of doing this, and plus I have to go to bed because I have FSA in the morning, so it's session two of reading, I'm not really good at reading, but I feel good about the first session, I don't know about the second, I don't know if I can handle it, but God has faith. He not has faith. We have faith that he will keep us safe during it. So first, I'm not going to say everything because I left my sheet downstairs. So I'm going to just read that by myself. But everything else I am. So first, I usually do a pray, prayer. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. And thank you for everything. That, oh, <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. Okay. Heavenly Father, and up in heaven, and be your name, thy kingdom come, that will be done. Ye and us to heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and see again when our daily dead. It's ye not totation, but all she needs, that a kingdom, that a glory forever. Amen. They for mommy and daddy, they for sister and brother, they for back. They for lovely and great get names up to today, and God in Jesus. Amen. Help to have a great day. And can you please forgive me or whatever I did wrong today? And I heavily pray, Amen. And I say, I'm not a perfect girl. My hair doesn't always really stay in place. I spill things a lot. I'm very clumsy. Sometimes I have a broken bot heart. My friends and I sometimes fight. Maybe some days nothing goes right. But when I think about it and take a step back, I remember how amazing life truly is. And through my imperfections, God still loves me. Precious one, so small, so sweet, dancing it on an angel's feet, straight from heaven's brightest star, what a miracle you truly are. Just a bedtime thought. Everything that kept you up all last night and stole your rest didn't go away. Just because you... Okay. <laughs> Let me just... I'm not going to read these because this is what my... Um... My... Papa's girlfriend gave me and she probably doesn't want me to read it to you guys. So, I'm going to go downstairs. And I was... I hope you have a blessed night. And I'm going to pray. Oh, not have to pray. Bye, you guys. Hope you guys have a blessed night. Bye.